<laughs> this is seven stock. This is what we're talking about here. You know what I mean? So, what happened? Who? What? Yeah, you could have asked him about three hours ago. Yeah, he'll be available to sign cards after this. Um, I'm going to give Tom just a few minutes to kind of express himself. Um, he's been to a seven stock before, but this is uh, one of the first times he's kind of just come down as a rotor head himself and wanted to be exposed to you guys. But, but this guy right here is responsible for that beautiful design on the FD. And give him another round of applause and we're going to let Tom give him another word. Yeah. Right. Before I became a real car designer or anything like that, I loved cars and driving all the time and driving in the middle of the night up to Toge in Hakone and drive around all the time. I called a toll booth up there, what the fog light? And it's a visibility of 10 feet. I hang up and drop up to the mountain from Tokyo and drive around all night, get a blister in my hand, came back to Tokyo. That's how I was when I was like 18 years old. And now that thing is a big thing everywhere, you know, toge driving and stuff. And I was doing a part-time job with Prince Motor Corporation, that's Skylines, and I was part of their team to go to the Grand Prix and stuff. So the Savannah, the RX-3, beat the Skyline. I hated Mazda for that reason <laughs> at that time. <laughs> That was like way before I become designers and ended up working for Mazda. And when I started working and I started liking the whole company and the, the, the rotary and everything, now I get to design the FD and I made sure that this one's gonna be unique and a timeless. For that front engine rear wheel drive, the front mid engine rear wheel drive configuration, price point about $30,000, $35,000. I don't think there will be another RX-7, so I designed it as a timeless design I could think of. I went to BMW for one year, reason to learn how to design the long, long, long life design rather than like every two years of minor changes. And then Mazda called me up to start the studio in Southern California, I moved. And then just the other day, this job is the longest of all the jobs I held. And that was my retirement job from Mazda. And uh, I didn't want to uh, work for another car company after IFD or the Miata. And I don't think, I used to work for Mazda, but now with a Toyota to come to this event is betrayal on my part. So I had to find a school, which is a neutral zone, to be an event like this, okay? And every time I come to those events, I want to thank every one of you, because without you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this, okay? Uh, The other one thing I worked on as a concept, I'm proud of more concept than design itself, although I worked on the design too. But the whole idea was when you park your car and then shut the door, walk into your building, and the car made you turn back one last look before you went into the building, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Most of you done that, right? Or they drive along the, the road with a nice glass show window next to you, so you drive by it and you can look at it and what it look like, right? Yeah. Or that after the, the night, end of the day, you bought the car showing around and then store the car into the garage. Before you go to bed, you go into the garage, sneak in and say good night to your car, right? <laughs> so that was a concept or philosophy we developed for all those cars coming after the Niada, the starting point. And then this one, the FD is another one, we did the same thing. And then they like put the hands out of the car, you feel like you're touching your own butt, you know, the sound of the car. Um, those are the kind of a philosophy we put it on. Now, MXX may be a really good sports car, but when you stand next to it, you feel anything here, you're done. It's a mechanical, scientific object, but not a passionate object. And that's what we wanted to do. And look, we got so many people looking back after you park and then say good night to the cars still today. I'm really happy for every one of you and happy for me too. So I just want to thank you all for coming and uh, enjoy more. Um, one more thing though. I love this event because so many young people because I, you know, like, Average age of initial owners are getting older and older and they're writing out for the grandchildren and stuff. But now here is actually younger people owning it, driving it. 
So please continue and pass it on to the next generation, please. Because that's the whole idea of it.